The meme dream team. All right, Chaos Mirror. We're only slightly ahead. I wish I had that bench now. <laughs> Let's see what we're up against. Lady Link, eight, four, and two. They have a single claw mighty blow, no block. Block on all the warriors and a block mighty blow. They have a ball carrier. Agility sure hands block. They have a dirty player and they have a bench. They have a one man bench. A single guard. So we're outskilling them quite a bit, even though team value wise, we're only we're only 130k ahead. Their agility guys are kind of expensive, and their bench is kind of expensive. Part of why I don't like chaos benches, like 60k. Like you can you can add an extra rotter on your team with a with for a much lower cost. Dwarf benches are so expensive, 70k. Goes for a keg of beer and a bribe. They do have a dirty player, so we're getting stomped. <laughs> your game stutters whenever you're moving your mouse, Anorath. That's disturbing. I would try updating your graphics card drivers. That might help. There might be some sort of weird bug in whatever version you're on. You could play around in the graphics settings. Maybe that would resolve it. Turn the grass off, turn the crowd off, that kind of stuff. Is using a controller an option? Yep. Uh, Rick Reckless, one of the biggest streamers, uses a controller to fight uh, repetitive strain issues he has, I think. I think it's slightly worse. I think it's... You're risking misclicks. It's a little slower, but... It could be a personal preference, and it, it's definitely an option that's there. And if you have RSI issues, it's it's good, too. It's been like that for months. Crazy. If not years. Right, we go first. We go first. But no, sorry, sorry, goat. I haven't heard of anyone else having the same issue. I know they do have like a, they do have their own custom bows. So I wonder if you could. Is there an option for custom mouse? Graphics are faded here. Some games you can turn like a hardware mouse. I forget what they call it, but you can just take the regular Windows mouse cursor. If it's mouse movement related, that might might help. <laughs> Oh, misspelled tree nearly pitch cleared somebody who had a four player bench. I'm glad to hear her lizards are are, uh, are going fairly well. Let's pile onto the back one. The blitz of warrior. Ball here. They don't have tackle, right? the guard mobile in case we get blitzed We're perfect defense they did get the, the blitz they can claw into my claw they almost certainly will good thing I have four of them they could claw my piling on claw that would leave their claw in peril too agility go died after like two turns <laughs> <laughs> we barely got to use Agility Goat. And we had Dr. Nick on the team that game, too. But 
Right afterwards, we picked up a double, so we've we've got a new variety of ball carrier. The first claw goes to the enemy. Get through the armor. Just a stud. Whew, not dead. Protects his claw. Stun means we don't get to blitz with the claw, though. Not sure what we do blitz. Probably... Possibly guard? Guard's pretty valuable. Let's see how these hits go. Rock kick of doom! Perry Vale smash! That's how you claw. They might have got the first claw, but so far we've got the best claw. One down. Who's next? Casabar Bonk! Injured! Two in a row. Perryvale and Casabar smashing up the world. Smash the town red. <laughs> good, good. Alright. How about another claw? How? I'll follow up. We'll, we'll, we'll blitz this warrior. If I don't pile on here. I do pile on here. Not dead means pile on. Rolled him. Just a stun. Just a stun. All right, so let's go harass the dirty player so we don't get uh, we don't get murdered. Don't want to get murdered. Make way. We gotta harass the dirty player. Probably set up a chain push to free him, actually. Keep him here to at least make that square not assistable. One, two, three, four, five, go, go. I'm gonna leave him that hit. I want him to throw that hit instead of a claw hit. I don't think he has a very good recovery. I think it would be very wrong for him to do the, the one go for it hit. It's actually a two go for it hit. Nice, oh, taking the bait. Thinking about the bait. He's sniffing the bait. Is he going to take the bait? It might not even be bait. It might be right to hit the ball. This is how I like to play Chaos, though. It might lose you more games every once in a while, but it definitely makes your team live longer. I stumbled on this strategy because I realized, like, some of the worst games I had was when it felt like I was just, like, my opponent was doing bad enough that he kept having to... Oh, he didn't even blitz with the claw. Like, I, I kept getting hits on his ball that would, like, knock the ball loose, but then I wouldn't recover it. And then six turns later, I'd be like, okay, he picked his ball up, it's in a cage again, and I haven't killed anything. <laughs> I'm like, I think we've done worse because we got to hit the ball so much. It's weird that he both didn't hit the ball and didn't blitz with Claw here, though. I guess they, they wanted the chain push to free the dirty player. They were prioritizing the stomp. They were prioritizing a different type of murder. You don't want to stop the tackle. Really? Stopping the already stunned tackle? What's the referee think about that? They got caught. They got injured. Not dead. Echo survives. Echo has overcome the prophecy. 
All right, bribe accepted. The referee enjoyed it. Time is money, friend. All right, we're only one player up now, though. We're <laughs> we still have four claw to one, though. He kept, he kept his claw safe from my claw. So we can't establish claw superiority just yet. I think we probably want to claw this thing. I don't know if I want to go pylon right next to his dirty player. I can't I can't rescue this time. And then I think I want this hit over here. Do I follow this up? I can dodge away if we don't pile on. But if we pile on, we're literally next to the dirty player. I can't follow up. Oh. Greed. Not greed. Patience punished. Patience punished. He's going to be able to do this hit and then come in and hit the ball. I think that's fine again in, in a similar way. Where if, if I move this guy to block that, then the claw can hit my killer. The claw's going to be able to hit this guy, though. It's not a matter of me protecting like my one good piece. We've got four claw. He's going to be able to claw claw whenever he wants. Sorry, walk the void. I'm clawing as, as hard as I can. It's like he's just going to stomp on the rookie. Claw the claw. He might stomp on this claw if he has to. Not dead. We can do two assist stomp here or multi assist on the, the unskilled one. I think I'm a lot happier with this guy back here getting stepped on. I'll trade my dirty player for him. Oh, he's not stomping anymore. No bribe, no stomp. No stomp at all. I. I I, uh, our opponent is not committed to murder as much as we are. Do I even need to prioritize smacking him now? <laughs> they have a wizard, right? No, they did not take wizard. Bribe and babe. I should probably still hit the, the dirty player. I'm surprised it didn't hit me, but... The other option is guard. I wouldn't mind hitting guard. No, let's hit dirty player. There's also retries, which makes it a better hit. Bonk.
the sideline here. You vote to hit them all in the head. I'm gonna hit them as they come. Leave those two down. He's shown he doesn't want to foul anymore anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Thank you for the kind words. You actually got it fixed, Goat? What, what? How did you fix it? Share the tech tip with the rest of us. I like tech tips. You had to rename some files. Ooh, complicated. Did you Google it and find somebody else with the problem? With a go for it, I can go after his super goat. It's not as good as going after Claw, but... <laughs> this poor goat is on uh, crisp duty. Crisp is definitely going to stand up and take that challenge. You googled it and found a whole bunch of potential things. And one of them worked! Nice! I'm happy that you, you got it resolved though, that's great. We can come back midfield, or we can blitz. We can blitz and be sideline caged up here. It would be a non-claw blitz. Which seems... quite wrong. <laughs> I think we've come back midfield, actually. Now that I'm looking at this, we can get our piling on hit onto this guy. Crunch some guard into this fight pretty usefully. Next turn we can head this way. Uh oh. Greed! Greed required! Oh, greed denied. Sad. I'm sad with that turn. Bonk. That chain push would have let him hit my 
my uh, killer goat. Wouldn't have got him under the ball, though. Second try at the chain push. Just a push. Not murdered by Claw is great. He gets an, uh, a regular hit onto my Claw, though. Two turns of us just uh, pushing each other around. <laughs> Somebody needs to get a lot more violent than the <laughs> push bowl. I guess I should be careful what I wish for when it's still the opponent's turn. <laughs> if I take it back. <laughs> be gentle. Unskilled hit. Gets through the armor, but not dead. Just a stun. Gets another punch here. Bonk. Right, he's facing one claw. Well, now I have to blitz that rookie. Sad times. Ooh, dirty player stands up. <laughs> dirty player presents himself to other claw. We just run the ball over this way. Push here means we have to stay on this side of the field. Oh, we get the pow. Done. Where do I want this guy to go? Helping keep this guy tied up is not bad. This guy hits and then we get an assist there. Yeah, so we can we can claw him. Yeah, I'll, I'll help tie that guy up. Nice. Claw the dirty one. Student. just gets a push. Um, do I want to push or bonk? Get push. We hit it again. Instead of hitting this guy. in the right spot. Nice. One die pow. Murder sure has uh, dried up. We got our first two hits of the game. We removed two guys. Now we're five turns in and we've removed two guys. Shoved guard into the scrub. <laughs> I 
Ooh, goes for the dodge hit on the ball. In lieu of claw. He does have agility sure hands guy for a pretty good recovery this time. Three plus, two plus. And then the hunt for a pow. Fails the dodge. Roll. He's free. Oh, he got the go for it and the pow. Balls on the ground. Have to recover. In fact, he might want to dodge and recover with this guy. Get some off a of claw. <laughs> Disagrees. He fears not my claw. Carefuling. Hmm, good turn for the opponent. Very good turn for the opponent. Got a one die. Skull! Skulls into the claw. KO! <laughs> nice. Good job, Perryville. Alright, so I think we try to pick it back up on Blodge Guy again. Take our lump here in a an important turn. Strength, that one. All right, let's get the ball jiggling. See if we have to put our blitz onto the agility guy. I kind of want to put the blitz on the agility guy anyway. Stunned. Mm. Goes into Agility Guy. Okay, so we have to Blitz Agility Guy. It will not be with Claw. I guess it'll be with Wrestle. One more assist and we can actually 3-die it. I don't want to do that, though. I want to be... I want to keep other players loose for protecting the ball, I think. Glad he did it with Wrestle. We cannot get our bludge to the ball, though. So it'll be, it'll be Guard picking it up and coming back around here. Casabar smash! Oh. Injured! I just have to say the line. <laughs> Saying the line seems to help. Casabar smash! If I go to here, we get out of way, the way of that guy. Because if I, if I come back to here, this guy can come in and smack us. I guess going over that way is a go for it. So we could we could just go for it up to here. One, two, three, four, five. Go, go. No, I do I do need to be over that way. I think. I guess I could have passed to him, but I don't want to be rolling that many dice. I did a one go for it sometime in the next three turns. He's now perfectly far away. Six movement. Twelve squares. Two turns. Touchdown. <laughs> you call Casper answers. 
Ooh, only two more kills to get Kaspar another level. Guard of his own. We can promote Kasabar to a supervisor. <laughs> Kasabar is also good at supervising Smash. Whoosh. Double go for it for the one die. Man, Sphinx, I, I do not take good care of Sphinx. Ooh, just a push, though. Considering the greed reroll on a one die, that would be really greedy. I wouldn't even do that. If I had infinite rerolls, I might, but they, they're at two for three turns, so. They show discipline. They, <laughs> they don't reroll the one die. They set my warrior free, though. I. I might have left the warrior on on my warrior. Hmm. Then I probably just punch his warrior. Maybe that's correct. I'm gonna have a pretty easy time building a, a screen slash cage here, though. Oh, the go for it's finally caught up to them. They're not free movement, you know. As far as the superest visor. <laughs> if I do a go for it, I can hit the claw with the claw. Deep surround on the claw is pretty good too. You could just pile it on claw. I think I like the pile claw of the warrior. I want him here. Get the armor break. Dead! Get the dead, dead, dead. Oh, I'm not even allowed to pile it on. Oh, Apothecary steps up. Offers something awful. He accepts the dead. It was... I think that might have been a strength bust, so... It's as good as dead, and he lets us have the dead. <laughs> oh, so very dead. Actually, go here so he can't run it that way. And I might keep this guy on those two, actually. Keep this other goat occupied. Nice. That was a good turn. Very good turn. Senrath. It's been a while since Senrath picked up a whole bunch of SPP. There's a murder. Death bit! <laughs> <laughs> the honk about. D E A. D. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Arctic. The claw's trying to run away. Oh, the ground doesn't have mighty blow. So turn eight with rerolls. Did we murder this guy? Yes. I 
smashy smashy. Gaspar's like the candy man, but with pies. <laughs> Say his name three times and he appears. Gaspar smash! It's done. A good attempt at smash. Squirrel guts. Not a level, but now only two SPP away. <laughs> oh no, goat! Your your graphics problems didn't actually get fixed. It cre it came back. Mm. You get our KO back. They can't get their dead back. Okay, turn eight. Still got claw. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enemies remain. And we're we're short a single player. Eight V ten. But they get a set of line hits here. A claw and a mighty blow punch. <laughs> After the kickoff, I'm going to run to the bathroom. If y'all promise not to die, I'll be safe being AFK here. Make sure we don't get a blitz. Oh, I kick. All right, be right back. Nobody die while I'm gone. Ooh, they got a pasting. Did we dead? Oh no, no. <laughs> everyone's spamming dead. Who died? Nobody died. <laughs> Pulling my leg. Not dead. Oh, Casabar, you're going back to Elite Dangerous for the first time in four years. You're going to be a space Uber. <laughs> Taking people from one starport to another. 
I played a little bit of Elite Dangerous myself. When the VR craze first started, Elite Dangerous was was on that hype train. Hey, Coke. Good to see you. <laughs> Cheering fans. Everybody gets a reroll. Yay, reroll. Dead, followed by not dead. Finally, one additional. Grammar. Not dead! The three line hits. All fail to break armor. Now the claw. Claw does break armor. No! Oh, breaks us all the way through. Airveil's injured. How bad is it? Not bad at all! Just badly hurt. Fairy Veil is safe. <laughs> it cannot be killed. Oh, nice. You've got the voice command set up for all the Elite Dangerous stuff. So you can just yell at it to, like, uh, uh fire up the engines, un un unlock docking clamps. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, Kindred. Chaos are doing great. Look, we killed a man. We're, we're, we're getting so many kills this season. So much murder. Okay, I might go pile it onto the dirty player. It seems like a good way to, like, preserve my life. Them not having a dirty player. Push greed. Free reroll means greed it. I mean, if I didn't have a free reroll, I'd probably greed it too. Fail to murder. Pile it on. It's dangerous to pile on the dirty player. We failed to break armor. Elite dangerous. <laughs> now if he can get a blitz to clear the negative assists, he just gets to step on my piling on. If he commits a lot to that though, he might leave the ball open. Let's see. Sorry, if she commits to that. She commits to murder. We might be able to hit the ball. What's more important, murder or ball? Probably murder. We might be able to get both. Why not both? They get their claw hit again. Murder ball! <laughs> Not dead. All right, just a stun this time. All right, we're we're definitely prioritizing fouling. If the ball assists the foul, then you know they really want to foul. <laughs> oh, they're even sna uh, giving me a sacrifice to get one more plus. The three assist stomp here. Can anyone spare a fireball? Skulls! Hello! 
Okay, reroll fixed it. <laughs> that did. The skulls were briefly, briefly on screen. Ground-based removal? I'm gonna get scream and get the ref's attention. Send Wrath injured and not caught. Not dead. Badly hurt, but my player count is diminishing. We're down to eight. Do we get to claw the claw? With a go for it, we can claw the claw. This is our first opportunity to claw claw. I can actually get rid of the go for it with uh, a chain push. Get the dirty player push him back. Keep him from running the balls cleanly upfield here. Do I agree that? Wrestling the dirty player is not that good. I could agree this too. Just a push. Also not great. But at least we actually get our our, our push here. Claw the claw. Yay. Fail to break armor. Push. Push. That was a pretty bad turn. Now they get to claw the claw. Eight V eight. Armor break. It's done. Not dead. And they just get a push. Nice. Well, they get a retry, though. Three die retry. With the dirty player, so at least we're not getting stepped on. Just a push. My guard is surrounded. And a one die pow. Womp womp. Not it. Right, so my only active claw is this one. Get the stunned claw here. We can go harass the ball, or we can just keep clawing. We keep clawing. Bonk. Hmm. I was writing there so we don't get clawed. <laughs> Both down means we do get clawed still. He hit with the other one. Both down give him the, the retry with Claw, though. I guess he really wanted to Claw something else. Maybe my gar my uh, wrestle here actually come up field. 
I feel like my safety is stopping him from coming up field. Oh, he probably wanted to claw here so that he could get his dirty player loose to step on me. That's probably what she was thinking. Nice. The enemy gets a push turn. Yep, yeah, still, yeah, they, they want to stomp on my claw, I think. No, they decide to hit the, the wrestle. They are going to try to run forward. What's all this? Oh, we're hitting the, we're hitting the, with the dirty player. Do go for it so I can hit the ball. I don't think I recover the ball. But I could go hit the ball. The other option is just keep clawing. Claw the dirty player, which is a valuable target, and mark the ball. <sighs> Marking the ball like that just gets us hit by that. If we, if we hit the ball and knock it to here, like, we probably don't get to recover it. Maybe they don't get to recover it, but I don't think we get to recover it. Let's just do that hit. Put him back on the new safety duty. And we're also screening the, the transfer to this guy. Cut the corner because I don't want to reroll. I didn't want to give this guy a free hit, but by having these two goats here, we're, we're acting kind of as safeties if he does get, somehow get the ball and run up field, we can hunt him. But I think that makes it really hard for, for the transfer to that guy. If they get him out of the way, they could like do a go for it in a pass. I don't think I would get an intercept. I might actually still even get an intercept. <laughs> My claws got pretty dull, though. I think they've been at eight players the... Wait, are they down to seven? No, they're still at eight. They've been at eight for a while, I think. Just to push. So the ball probably has to dodge. So that guy goes back here, he gets this hit, and then he can come over and do the transfer and potato. But I'll be able to hunt the potato with these two. He could just come back this way, like bring him up and then have a screen to keep these from getting him. Stick the ball like here. And then I get a dodge attack from behind. 
Oh, he's going to transfer to this guy. Hopefully there's some ones hiding somewhere. Oh, he got his dodge. Oh, we're just standing here. How do you protect that? I don't think I don't think they could ever protect it from a dodge attack. They might be able to protect it from just a, a plane hit. Your issue's worse now after some time passed? Oof. It is really weird that it was fixed for a bit and then got bad again. That is very weird. All right. Their dodge means that now I have to dodge to actually get my hit. Just get the claws, dirty player. Don't mind that. 3 plus, 2 plus. That's the best we got. Punch him, we have a bunch of goats forward to, to hunt him if they do end up being safe here. We'll beat that one up. I think we just stand this one. This guy goes for the, the hit. It's 3 plus, 2 plus either way. But this is a better match. I don't want to just stand that one. We're ahead on strength there. Or clean hits first. Whoosh. Go for the ball! Dodge is good! Go for it's good. No pal. There is a retry here, though. The Blitzer's guard, so following up gets us another two die. Do I reroll here so we can actually recover? No. I'll, set it. I'll, I'll settle for just knocking the ball down. I mean, that's exactly what we get. I could reroll this. It's a six plus. But I guess it doesn't help a ton because we get punched super easily. No. We'll say we'll save two rerolls for three turns. <laughs> we got the ball anyways, that's one way to reroll it. <laughs> now Hebrew Hammer has the ball. Alright. Some good old uh, scrummy 8v8 Blood Bowl. This is the least safe ball I've had in quite a while. <laughs> it's kind of safe, though. They don't just get to, like, automatically 2 dive me. This guard is actually being a bit of a pain in the tuchus. Guards down. <laughs> Took his pain alleviated. Not dead. <laughs> nice pass and catch. <laughs> Unfortunately, no SPP. Alright, they get their pal with agility, man. I don't like hitting the ball there, though. The ball could scatter pretty far out of this guy's path. Oh, it went right back to him. <laughs> Could have scattered like over here and have been a, a little harder for him to reach. If you put it here, then he's he can just come more forward and get to any any scatter in two steps instead of three steps. Looks like he's happy chilling there. This guy's gonna be able to make an attack on it. Okay, 
he stays back there. I might not be able to hit that. He's running out of time, though. He's only got two turns to score. He's on the wrong side of the line. Yeah, she has to come forward next turn. Lady Link. Presumably a lady. <laughs> okay, scoring threats are running forward like crazy. Dodgy scoring threats. Be brave with Crisp. Tie up more opponents on that the critical turn. We'll go blitz that one, I think. Make sure this one keeps a friend. Blitzing here probably means they blitz here. Hmm. Let's knock this guy down, please. Hmm. It's in scoring range. I think I have to make this harder. If I was them, I'd probably do a go for it to clear... Like if this guy if this guy cut, tries to come back to make that guy's life harder, this play is too easy. I have to leave this guy over here. But now their play is blitz this guy, get the ball to him, potato, and then we'll have to do a dodge hit, probably. Urgh. This guy should not have followed up. It was very wrong to follow up here. I should have left him back here, because we don't care about winning this fight. Just having a loose goat would have been a lot better than having both of them on him. I think they would have been able to mark anyways, but it we didn't gain anything by following up here. Alright, maybe they're just gonna go for the, the two go for it plan. The ball carry can score two go for it, so yeah. I think they're just gonna run the ball forward on the carrier for the looks of things. Go for it. We roll fixed it. So they just want to live the ball down on this side. Got no rerolls. Well, they have one reroll for next turn. Rerolls used for this turn. Okay, so that's that's a two go for it scoring threat. Yeah, if this wrestler was just back here, we'd be in a lot better shape. Be able to come over and help somehow. Hit him from behind with this guy. Never mind. Dodge Dodge gets rid of that. Secondary threat. This is uh, this is starting to look sketchy. We get a clean hit on the ball, but they've got a lot of options with how to score. Whether that's me just failing this dodge or what. At least the fun ended there. Take that hit so we can get one of these free without dodging. It's just going to be this guy dodging and hitting, I think. Okay. 
I can get this wrestler at least. Not sure how much it's gonna help. I can get this guy at least too. This guy can do a go for it and mark claw. Might help. None of, none of that stuff helps though if if this whiffs. So let's do this. Dodge is good. Thanks to the dodge reroll. And we get the pow. Okay. Glad I didn't activate that player. Stand him. This was a scoring threat. Yeah. We've, we've got all the scoring threats with buddies. I'm glad I did the hit with Wrestle. We can actually get this player loose. What's their best play, and how do I thwart it? Hit here. Pick the ball up here. Uh, stand here, punch here. Dodge in. This guy picks it up and passes into the end zone. This guy dodges in the end zone, then this guy passes into the end zone. Well, they hadn't blitzed with this plan, so blitz here. And then this guy picks it up and hands it to him. Yeah, that's a really good play. Blitz here. Punch here, blitz here. Pick up, handoff. So that's the play I have to make worse. And this is a pretty simple way to make it worse. I'll just get another guy on the ball. All right. It's all up to her. What can she do? Zonra, did you get replaced? I believe you you got replaced with Sphinx. Zonra the warrior left us. A tragic end. It's KO. Not dead. KO's okay. Okay, they get a chain push here. And then agility dodges to pick up the ball. I'm not I'm not sure who actually scores. It might be a tackle zone handoff. They could use blitz. Just for strength here. That's what they do. Double pow. Ball is clear. The receivers are not clear, though. Tackle zone handoff. The hard part, a four plus handoff and a three plus dodge. They got a four. They got a six. Oh, and a five. Well rolled. Ah, uh, draw. Could I have made that harder? I gave him a chain push to clear it, but, like, the other option was not putting a second guy in the ball, and then just a regular hit to clear it. I could have actually picked the ball up. I could have gone for the five plus pickup. That is a pretty big risk of, of the ball jiggling into a horrible spot. Maybe we get a riot? Might get a riot. Definitely cannot one turn down four players. Looking for pass farm. Ooh, Sphinx wants a pass farm. Sphinx is not the best uh, person up back there for the for the riot, but riots aren't that likely. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Survey says high kick. All we can do is pass fire. That's a bar smash. Push. That's a bar push. Balska smash. Balska smash. John smash. There's a lot of not smash. Let's see if we can get a Sphinx level. <laughs> Yay, Sphinx level. And we'll respect Foul. There could be only one Chaos. Roll her. Another draw. We killed, uh, we killed the enemy though. We did get a kill. A win and a draw is not bad for a, a two stream day. What do we do SPP wise? Ooh, Casabar MVP! MVP level up at that. Wow, we got O blocked big time. 12 more blocks for her. 50 to 38. Nine SPP on Casabar. <laughs> uh, 17 total. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's check out the level ups. Get Sphinx and Casabar with levels. Regular skill for the Sphinx. And Casabar gets regular skill. We'll grab some guard for Casabar. Promote Casabar to supervisor. <laughs> and we'll just get block. 